Hello and welcome back everybody to another Let's Play. Today we are going to be playing Shards of Infinity, which is one of my favorite games. And I am joined today by Christian. Hello. You might recognize him from other content that's up on the channel. And we're going to be seeing who can collect either the most power this turn, this game, or who can kill the other person first. Absolutely murder the other person. Absolutely. So we started out with our center row set up with six cards face up. That's where we're going to buy things from. And then we have five cards in hand. I'll show mine. It doesn't really matter because they're basically the same every time um, for the most part. But um, we did determine randomly that uh, Christian is going to go first, meaning I get one power or influence or whatever it's called. And thus the power struggle begins. Yes. <clears throat> All righty then. So I have three purchasing power via my plus one crystals, as well as two purchasing power for my shard reactor. And lastly, I have two damage to deal through my infinity shard. So with my five here, I'm going to buy... Or for the Command Seer, which will go to my discard pile here to be shuffled in when I shuffle my deck up. And then I will spend my remaining one crystal to increase my power to one. Then I will deal my two damage to Volos directly. Yep. And end my turn. Volos we draw our cards at the end of the turn? or At the end of your turn, you refresh your hand. Yep. So I have all the purchasing power. I have oh six purchasing power. Oh, no. Meaning I could do this one. Get yourself... A, what's the blue one called again? Um, order. Order, right. So there's Undergrowth, Order, Homodeus, and there's a Wraith. purple one. Wraith. Yes, Wraith. As you can see, I am playing as uh, Decima or Decima. She is part of the Homodeus, and Jeremy is playing as Volos, who is part of Undergrowth. And yes. it doesn't actually impact any part of our gameplay unless we were to incorporate the uh, expansions, which yes. we are not at this time. This is base game only. There's a wraith. That's that wraith, a wraith spelled W A. Sorry, W R A E T H E. Yes. Not wraith like you'd think in like any any kind of way you might think. Was that the end of your turn? Yes. Awesome. I did not go up in power because I wanted that six cost. Yes, you did. So I have four and I have one. So I'll do one to you by the reactor drone and go up to two power, and then I will be shuffling and drawing. Hold I on. Let's replenish the center row. Ooh, a champion. I have three purchasing power and three damage. Uh oh. So. Um. I'm gonna go with this guy. A wonderful undergrowth ally that gives you three defense, which you can reveal from your hand. Yes. And you I'll take three, three damage. damage. Right? Yep. Three, well, damage resolves at the end of the turn, so I'll go down to yes. forty-seven. Now my turn. I shall present to you. Five purchasing power in the form of two crystals and my reactor drone, as well as three damage. I would Five like... Five purchasing. Rich. Yes. I'm going to buy three for the Numeri Drones Homo Deus Champion, replenish the center row, and use my remaining two to get the mining drones. I will not increase my power this turn, and at the end of my turn, deal three damage directly to Volos. Three damage. I'm down to 44. I have... Kind of a, uh, oh, I could get the thing that I kind of want. Okay, so I'm going to, I have four purchasing power and three damage, and I'm going to most likely buy this one. Sounds about right. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to buy this one, and then I'm There's going There's one to, right there. There is one, yes. All right. And then I'll take my three damage, bringing me also down to 44. And I will not... Go up one because I spent all my energy again. All that dosh. All right. I got five crystals. With my five crystals, I will spend one for the Order Initiate, which was uh, a card that... Ooh, I wish I had enough for that. You and your other champions in play can't be attacked. Yes. This is one me many of practice games that we've done. <laughs> yes. Many of one practice game that we've done. <laughs> I will then... Uh, use three to purchase the Umbral Scourge, and the remaining one to increase my power to three, thus ending my turn. I have to draw two and then have to reshuffle. So those are the two cards for my hand, and go ahead, Jeremy. I am going to draw a card with my card effect. What else does it do? 
Um, destroy an enemy champion if you have played another Undergross ally this turn or reveal one from your hand. Um, so it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to draw two cards, which means I have to reshuffle. In the midst of your turn? In the midst of my turn. In the midst of your turn. Oh, geez, man. So tell me a little more about this game, Jeremy. I am only familiar with this game in that you've shown you like it and that we've played it a few times off camera. Um, it's, it's a game made by a company that makes a lot of other interesting games that I really like. Um, and it's I like the deck building mechanic behind it. Yeah, Ultra Pro. Yeah, I thought it was Stoneblade. Stone, is, you're talking about Ultra Pro? Yeah. Oh. See, Ultra Pro, I'm only familiar with Ultra Pro because of the, the card game accessories that they make. Yeah. The, um, but it, it's a deck builder, and it's kind of like, it reminds me of um, Star Realms, but with the extra win condition of being able to win by the power that you get there. And an additional resource you have to yeah. manage. Well, not a resource so much as a meter. I have five purchasing power. Oh, I can get that order champion. Hey, look at you. Um, and then I have one damage. I guess I'll take one damage. Go down to 43. Does that conclude your turn? Yes, it does. Very good. Okay, so I have seven purchasing power. And if I can trigger domain, I will also get uh, two additional power. But I don't think that's going to happen this turn. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Seven. I tell you what. I will. I will get root of the forest for my full seven. Nice. Root, root, root of the forest, and I will deal that one damage to your Volos, bringing us to an even forty-three. Going down very steadily, this game. I have one left. Wait, do you not draw your hand beforehand? You could have had a... Uh, oh, no, wait, that was in your... Yep, you played that already. Yeah. I was going to say that the, the sh have, shield thing on his card would allow him to uh, block. Block, that. yeah. I was busy reading the back of the rule book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so I have two damage. I can place this champion down, and I'm going to exhaust it to go up one. Bringing you to four? Yes. No, I'm at two. Oh, you haven't You I haven't, haven't done it at all. Interesting. Um, I have four to buy stuff with. Buy everything but this. Yeah. I don't know if I want to lean into the undergrowth. I mean, you are Volos, yeah. although I already discussed that that doesn't actually have any impact doesn't on the game. Matter, yeah. Um, but I'm also behind a little bit. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this one. You can cash up with Cash Warden. <laughs> All right, so that was the full four. Uh, yes. And I'll take two. Go down to forty-one. Yes. All right. So I have. One, two, three, plus three is six, plus one is seven once again, and I also draw a card, eight. So I have eight purchasing power. How do I want to proceed? I think I'm going to use two for my cash warden purchase. Then I can use, when you play this, draw a card. Dominion, exhaust, gain three, if I have all those things. All right, I'll use another two to buy this guy. Voice. And then I will use three, oh, well, three to buy the data heretic, which will let me draw cards a lot on future of turns. And I have the one left over that I will use to go up to four, and that will be the conclusion. A lot of order. A lot of order here. Yeah. Did here you do any damage? Uh, no, I did not. Oh, five cards left. Cool. Full five here. Really got to remember to draw my cards at the end of my turn. Very important part of this game. <laughs> Okay, dokay. Okay, dokay. Order initiate, gain two. I'm going to unexhaust your guy here. So I have six that I can buy things with. Very cool. It means I'm actually probably going to go up in power this turn, maybe. I mean, you definitely are because of your system oh, AI. Oh, that's true. There you go, up to f three. Yes. Mm -hmm. Dice drop your hand. Discard pile. A lot of wraiths all of a sudden. Yeah. I feel, like, I feel like every time I've played this game, Homo Deus is the least seen option in the center row. Is that a... Characteristic of that class? It, it does. I mean, they're equal in terms of the amount of cards. But it just it does seem like that. <laughs> Insanity. So there's a couple of good options here. Uh, part of the game uh, is three unique types of cards. There are uh, champions, there are allies, and then there are mercenary allies. Mm. Uh, the mercenary allies you could see are bordered with a bit of red. I don't know if you quite can see it from the angle you have there, but 
those can be played instantly rather than being placed into our discard piles like we have been doing every time we purchase something from the center. Champions exist like permanents in that they stay on the board, uh, like the system AI that Jeremy has over here. And then allies are just play and resolve that will go to your discard pile at the conclusion of your turn. A Avocatus. That's one of my favorite guys from when we play this game. Six. I use three. You call have three left. Uh, I'll go with this one. Okay. Very good. I'm not super happy with that. But. Super happy. All right. I'm also not super happy with my uh, current state of hand. I tend to go overgrow or undergrowth. Um, that tends to be the the faction that I gravitate towards, but it didn't really curve out very well in this game. Gain one from my Umbral Scourge, and then also banish a card from my discard pile. I'm gonna go through, grab a blaster, and get that out of here. That will be put aside so that we can put it back at the end of the game. So that's the resolution of this. I also have a champion of my own now in the form of Numeri Drone. Uh, I gained one purchasing power. What, what is it called? What is the term for the crystals in this? It I guess they're just crystals. I don't know. So I gain one, and then I can, uh, this turn, the next Homo Deus champion I recruit gets directly put into play, similar to how mercenaries get instantly played, except I don't have to discard him or them at the resolution of the card. So I only have three. three by the way. Right. We keep calling it power. All right, so I only have three. Uh, I'm going to exhaust and use the two. So I'm going to buy the Spore Cleric. have one left over, and I'm going to use that to go up to six. Funny thing with this game in comparison to other deck builders that I play, um, this game has the equivalent of, um, like, so their Wraith cards are essentially like the Machine Cult cards in Star Realms. I always go Machine Cult in Star Realms, but I never go Wraith in um, in this game, and I'm not really sure why. Because it's it's a unique game. you got to do something a little bit different, even though it feels <laughs> similar. You should be doing something that's different from what you normally do. The objective isn't to win. It's to have a good time and to explore the different options of a game. Absolutely. Otherwise, what, el what other reason do you have to play a game? Yeah, you could be a sweaty winner. That's fine. <laughs> a sweaty winner. No one's going to blame you if you want to be a sweaty winner. Exhaust. Go up one. Um, I am going to, this one's three. So I think I am going to go up an additional one. Oh. To get me to five. Very good. And then that allows me to get the extra one from here. So I have four, which means I could get the Homo Deus champion. Avocados. Avocados. But I think I'm going to go with the Umbral Scourge. And have one left over? And have one left over, yeah. Fair enough. You already gained your one from your system yes. AI? We're both at six then, right? Uh, I'm at five. I was at three. I gained from that, which right, got right, me to right. four, and then got me to five. So, um, and I do four damage. Four damage. All to me? You don't want to try and kill my Numeri drones? All right, so... What does it do? Oh, it's at five, so you could kill it anyway. No. Uh, so I go down to 37. I'm now in the orange health bracket. And that's it for your turn? Yes, All right. is indeed. We're tapping them side. We're putting the cards sideways, otherwise known as tapping in Magic the Gathering terms, to to show that it's exhausted. But there is no actual mechanic of this game that is to turn them sideways. Exhaust is just a once per turn, per once per turn effect that is written on two cards, such as our heroes. Yeah. All right. I have three crystals for three purchasing power, and I also gain fourteen life. Whoa! So I will be going back up to full, at a full fifty, and triggering my unify which is to gain 10 damage if I've played another uni uh, Undergrowth card this turn. Wow. I'm going to exhaust my Numeri drone and use all four to play Avocatus. Avocatus. Uh, when it enters, because I have Numeri drones, that mana lets me put it onto the board directly. Uh, when it enters play, I draw a card. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. I will play that card. And when I... It's another champion. Oh, nice. uh, when I play this card, I draw a card. Oh, this is insane. So I can exhaust this to gain three uh, of the mastery if I have Dominion, and the card I drew off of my Giga Source Adept is my Wraith card, uh, Shadebound Sentry, which is another three damage. I will not be able to, re uh, oh, return a Mercenary from my discard pile to my hand. That was my mistake. Then, was that not this then? Was that, did I buy another card that did that? Umbral or? Scourge. I did, pl I did play a card that did yeah, that, yeah. right? Okay. I, I want to make sure I wasn't cheating on camera <laughs> <laughs> um so then i can exhaust this to go up by three to go to nine 
I can tap this to gain one damage for each of my Homo Deus champions. So I'm going to hit um, four damage here and 11 damage to your face. Okay. So this dies and I have eight block. Okay. So then so you're I taking three. three. Yep. Oh, let's see. They stay in your hand. Ooh. That was a rough turn. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play this. Um, and then I'm going to play this, which allows me to draw a card, which means I have to shuffle. So. so this guy right here, the uh, Zeta, the Encryptor, which was the Order Champion that Jeremy just played, uh, makes it so that uh, I cannot target other champions that Jeremy controls, nor Jeremy, otherwise known as Volos, with any of my damage. So I have to kill Zeta first, then I can assort the rest of my damage to do what I want to do with it. Um, well, Vakadis is weak. He only has two. He, he's a bit of a weak one. I guess that makes sense why he has an on-play uh, draw card ability. Makes sense, makes sense. I'm going to um, banish this card from my hand. Ooh, Blaster. And what a good play. I'm then going to Shadow Apostle and banish this card from my oh hand. Oh my lord, he's popping off. And I am going to... Is that last crystal in your hand to go up by one mastery? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> up by one mastery. To seven. To seven. I have two. I'm going to kill your guy. Yep. Did you go up by one by four Umbral Scourge? Yeah. Okay. Um, unfortunately... I have no way of getting a Homodea, so I couldn't get my five. And that's it. All right, then. I will undep and prepare to turn. All right, I will start by drawing two cards. I activate Pot of Greed, which allows me to draw two cards from my deck. <laughs> and I'm going to activate Mining Drones for a one value on my crystals to draw another card. From there, from, from, from there, I will continue... Uh, I will play Umbral Scourge to confirm that I do actually have an Umbral Scourge to banish one of my crystals, joining Jeremy in the elite pile of less starting <laughs> deck cards, to bring myself to 10, which is an incremental change that can make things a little more difficult for Jeremy. Yes, now some of his cards trigger with their 10 ability. Indeed, indeed, indeed. So I will then gain another 2 by playing Order Initiate. And gain another two by playing Command Seer, and gain another three by playing Reactor Drone. So that puts me up to eight, nine if I include Numeri Drone, and then ten with my Crystal in hand, as well as the Infinity Charge, which now goes up to the ten value, which does three damage. So with my ten, I'm going to exhaust my Numeri Drone and use uh, one, two, three, four, five to play Optio Crusher directly into my board because of my Numeri Drone's effect. Draw into another Homo Deus card. Very good. I still have five to work with. The Homo Deus cards always get a nice engine going if you can actually get some of them on the board. Yes, indeed. It seems that way. So I have another five to work with. Uh, with that five to work with, I'll use three of it to uh, Mercenary cast Lashai Knight, thus triggering my domain. Yep. Uh, triggering my domain gives me an extra two power, putting me up to 12. And also three damage in addition to the pile of three damage I have down here. In addition to the five damage I will be gaining from Optio Crusher. I will also tap my Gigasource Adept for another three mastery, bringing me up to 15 because Ooh. I have domain. So I have two left over, and I am presenting 11 damage. Uh, with my two left over, I will buy the Wraith Skirmisher and go up by one officially, from my own ability up to 16. Uh, I will resolve the end of my turn by dealing the 11 damage, 5 to here, and the 6 to Jeremy. And I don't have any way of blocking it, so I'm taking the 6. Big ol' 6. What does that put you at, Jeremy? 35. 35 to my 50. 35. One, yeah, two. I'm in bad position in pretty much every win condition. <laughs> <laughs> so, gain 2, draw a card... Um, gain two damage, draw a card. Yeah, gain two damage, draw a card. This can't be attacked with damage. Oh, I must destroy it with non-damage. Um, and that is... 
So I can present five, and then I have five to buy things with. Five and five. Five and five. All right, so I'm going to get this one. Oh, you're not going to mercenary cast it? Oh, I'm sorry. I think I'm, I mercenary cast the Lashine Knight, so that'll go at the bottom of the deck after the resolution of my turn. And I'll buy this. Was that the full five? That was the full five. Yep. Very good. Um, and I'm aiming five uh, at... Four, four, and five. Hmm. This is gaining me mastery. This is damage. This is letting me play Homo Deus Champions out of the center row. Mm. They're all pretty bad. <laughs> allies. So I'm going to, I guess I'm going to do this one. All right. Goodbye and to one, my Gigasource Adept. And one to your face. One to my face, bringing me down to a healthy 49. <laughs> <laughs> nice and healthy. Okay, then. So I will gain one power to go to 17 because I am at over 10. I will draw a card, thus needing me to shuffle my deck. So give me one second to shuffle my deck. Are you also shuffling your deck, or is that the last five cards that you... This is the last five cards. Very, very good. Right. So I got 16 cards left in my deck right now, which means my total deck size is 21. I've bought 11... So I've bought 13 cards so far this game because I've exiled two of them. Yeah. Very good. Uh, a nice engine that I like to get going in. Um, I, ha I don't think I've really accomplished it very much in this game, but in Star Realms um, and in Hero Realms, where you get to a point where you're pretty much drawing through your entire ha your entire deck every turn. Dang, that's a lot. Between trashing cards and uh, dra extra draws. <laughs> All right, so I have six to work with right now. Oh, sorry, I have these as well. Um, seven to work with if I need it. Do I need it? So I will use four to mercenary cast the Aether Breaker. So I have three left over. With that three, I will use two, no. Hmm, this is a bit of a pickle. Uh, I'm going to use, uh, I'll use all three uh, to buy the Corvus Legionnaire. The Corvus Legionnaire. Yes. Oh, uh. <laughs> that's my deck. Uh, incorrect. So then I will exhaust this for another five, so I'm dealing eight, ten, fifteen to your face. And I can't block any of it. What does that put you to now? That puts me to, what was that before? Thirty-five. Yes, so I'll put you down to twenty. 20. All right, that is the resolution. I'm now in the turn. red life. The red life. He's living that red life, guys. Hey, system AI, back on our board. There it is, more champions. And three, five to buy things with. So I will exhaust for one damage, exhaust for one mastery. I'm at eight now. Oh, look at you. Um, and then I will spend five to buy something. I guess I'll buy this. Another champion. This is the most champion-heavy game I've played, and we've played four-player games. Yeah. It's not really actually Don't mumble. Good. Read it. Read it into the microphone. Yeah. Uh, exhaust gain two and an additional two for each undergrowth ally you have played this turn, which is that's not good for me. Good old really Unifi. Um, I think I'm going to do this one. Which one was that? I'm sorry. The Portal Monk. Recruit a card of six or less for that's three. That's a really good card. And I'm gonna go up one with my one of my remaining two, and that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Uh, you're at twenty, right? I am at twenty. All right, let's see if we can change that. <laughs> so I will start by playing my Gigasource Adept once more, which will allow me to draw a card. All right. All right. All right. I think. I think, and I think. I have Umbral Scourge for one mastery to go to 18, as well as the option to exile a crystal from my graveyard. I can 
Play Shadebound Sentry to gain three damage and return a Mercenary, which is Cash Warden, from my discard pile to my hand. I will then play Cash Warden to go my mastery up to 19 and also draw a card because I'm at 10 or more so that I can then uh, gain 10 life, putting myself back up to 50 once again. Oof. And if I can get a Homo Deus card to play, I will have triggered my Dominion once again. However, I don't think I can. I do, however, have... Four drawing power, five including this right here. So let's let's make suboptimal plays. Let's use two to mercenary cast the spore cleric so that I have the unified trigger to deal ten damage. And I still have three left over. With that said three, I will hmm, what shall I do? I will go up by one to go to twenty. Having two left over, um, or potentially two if I decide to exhaust my numeri drones, I will um, exhaust my Optio Crusher for an extra five damage. And that very may very well be the end of what I got. So that'll be... Um, am I silly? Am I silly? I'm... I'm silly. This was... Um, no, I had to do it that way. I was going to say, I thought I missed lethal. Uh, this right here, uh, casting this would have been the extra five damage that I needed to close this out, but, but I didn't that. have exactly. Oh, you needed that. I needed yeah. this to trigger the unify to do the 10 damage to begin with. Yeah. So then I will deal the 15 straight to you. Oh, I can't. No, I can. You can. I absolutely can. All right. Yeah, I'll do 15 straight to you. Is it 15 or 18? Um, it is. You're right. 18. Uh, yep. Five, three. Ten. Hanging on with two. Hanging on with two. All right, we can put that mercenary at the bottom and resolve all of my cards. I feel like I have blockers and I just never have them. <laughs> one, two, three. Gain one. Four. Banish a card from your hand or discard pile. Draw two cards. All right, it's make or break now, Jeremy. Can it's you break. find... Oh, <laughs> Um, I mean, so you can mercenary cast some, some health, some health, and hope I don't draw um, any one more damage. I did remove blaster from my deck, so you do have that going. <laughs> I do, ha I do have that going for me. Also, um, burn through a ton of damage in my graveyard. What I have three to buy stuff with, and then one, two, so three damage. And I'm going to exhaust this to get myself up to ten. Nice, nice, up to 10. Oh, now I have four damage. Now you can kill my five damage that's guaranteed. Yeah, that's true. Um, and uh, I mean, probably the smartest would be to mercenary cast this just to keep myself in the game. Also true. So I'll pay the two to mercenary cast and then I'll go up one and hit that for four. Gotcha. So my Optio Crusher's dead. You're up to six. Don't forget to do that. We'll put the Spore Cleric at the bottom of the deck. All right, let's see if I can find Lethal. Wouldn't you know it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get fancy with it, though. Uh, is it a full hand of damage? No, it's not a full hand of damage. Uh, gain one, draw one, draw two. It's the last two cards of my deck. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't think I can be any more fancy... Uh, so instead, I'll just bleh. kill you. I mean, draw your cards to see if you get any blocks. That's true. Yeah. Because you've complained about it, so therefore, they're in your hand. <laughs> That's how that works. I've learned that the hard way many times. Okay. Although I don't think it will necessarily matter. Um, it most definitely will not matter. Oh, very good. So then <laughs> I will just resolve these um, to gain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, reveal this to gain four back up to 50, from 50 to 50. Uh, play Evocatus to draw oh, a card when I, uh, when I, <laughs> I'm sure I have it. So I'm yeah. just going to do that, draw a card, uh, gain some extra, have five from my hand, tap this to deal two. There's seven alone, but if I want to get extra fancy with it. Oh, you could mercenary cast. I absolutely can mercenary cast. So that from there, I will, so this is actually four. 
So this is four and one to mercenary cast this with none in my graveyard. Uh, that will trigger my domain on both of these, which will then give me an extra one, putting me to 22, as well as an extra three, putting me to 25. Man, if only there was something on the board that I can mercenary cast to, to gain an extra few so I can kill you with infinite damage, but I'll have to settle for lethal. <laughs> game. Yes, good game. <laughs> All right. Hope that made sense to everyone. Here's the, the card I used for most of my lethal here, and if that wasn't good enough, I had a plus three from here. Yes. As well as two damage coming off of my... Avocatus. Avocatus. I always like seeing Avocatus come out. He, he has an air about him. I would say it is probably the only card that I could name, like by name I know in this deck. Yeah. Is that uh, the Avocatus because it's... You get it every game. Every game I get Avocatus. <laughs> yeah. I saw you going for him. You wanted him. You wanted to take my Avocatus, but... I went a different route. I went the bad route. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What were you, I, I don't think. I don't, like, I honestly, like, didn't think I was going, didn't go for much. I was going for order, and then I was going to try and do, like, an all-out mastery kind of blitz, but then you started going order, and then I wasn't getting enough cards that had buying power, so I wasn't really able to buy anything that was very good after a while. So I was drawing a lot of cards, but didn't, couldn't do anything with the cards that I was ah. drawing. Um, and then I got, I mean, I got probably more champions than I typically get in a game. Yeah. I noticed that um, every time we've played, I think I've seen you play maybe a champion. Yeah. And, but they weren't particularly good champions. I mean, this is not a bad champion if you have other stuff that you're doing, cause you're getting a mastery every turn. Correct. Um, and if you're, that's too mastery a turn, if you're saving the extra buying power, but it, it just on its own, just giving yourself an extra mastery, especially when you took such a lead in mastery that it was basically a foregone conclusion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that, that quick mastery gain was nuts. I think it really was that I accomplished domain very quickly. I want to yeah. say I accomplished domain in like my first nine cards. Yeah, yeah. and once you, once you start getting that ball rolling, if you can reliably do that, then you're you're really churning out all of those extra effects, which are usually really good because it's hard to it's hard to do that. Yeah, Re like reliably. Um, also, not having overgrowth allies early because that tends to be what I go for and there wasn't a lot of them on the board early and they kind of threw me off. You always call them overgrowth but they're undergrowth. Uh, it is undergrowth, yeah. <laughs> uh, this was good. Yes, it was very good. Um, if you do like these Let's Plays and you want to see more of them, please leave a like on the video so we know that you like them. Leave a comment down below. Have you ever checked out Shards of Infinity? Have you checked out any of the expansions or any of the other games by the same maker? Um and subscribe to the channel so you see more of this content going forward and ring that bell so you know what's up and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.